Mr. O'Brien here, and this is part three of your topic five uh, cell division and genetics um, review material for the Keystone Biology exam. Now, in this topic, we're going to be talking about a couple things. We're going to be talking about the functional relationship between DNA, genes, alleles, and chromosomes. And we're going to talk about how or what their role is when we're talking about inheritance. So when we look here, if we have a cell, now this cell is going to be a eukaryotic cell. Now, if you remember from previous videos, eukaryotic means that they have a nucleus or true nucleus. Now, inside of that nucleus, which is right there, we have a couple structures. And in those structures, we have chromosomes. Now, chromosomes are the condensed version of DNA. So, as we unravel that DNA, a single piece of that chromosome that codes for a polypeptide or a protein is known as a gene. Now, a gene contains two different variations, and those are called alleles. Now, those alleles are, could be dominant, recessive, and they determine what the physical characteristics or the phenotype is for that. Now, all of these things are made of DNA, which are made of our A's, T's, C's, and G's. And remember, that's our genetic information, where our material is being stored. So let's look at this a little bit more in depth. So DNA is a molecule that carries our genetic code, and it determines this, it is determined by the sequence of amino acids that we have from building a protein. So DNA contains all of our genetic information. Okay? DNA pretty much contains all of these things. DNA is a huge molecule stored inside of our cells that contains all the information we can need over time. Now, a gene is just one segment of that DNA. It's a specific segment of DNA, and it codes for a protein. So, in other words, there are segments on this DNA that are very specific, that when those are red, they code for a particular thing, like hair color, eye color, skin color. A, a specific gene codes for a single protein. Now, alleles are versions of that gene. Now, and a little bit later, we'll talk about dominant or recessive. So we often refer to those as a single letter. So an allele are versions of the gene, whether dominant or recessive, and those are the things that control what is actually being expressed. Okay, so those are versions of the gene that different people could have. Then finally, we have a chromosome. Now, a chromosome is when all that DNA is condensed inside of our nucleus. It's a whole bunch of genes linked together into an organized structure, which is contained inside of our nucleus. Now, the only time chromosomes are present is during cell division, more particularly uh, mitosis and meiosis that we learned about in the last chapter. And when it's not in a chromosome form, it's called chromatin or uncoiled DNA. So chromosomes, they contain the genetic material of the cell, okay? These condensed versions. Now, when they're uncondensed, those chromosomes are made of segments of DNA. Now, remember, DNA is referred to as a double helix. And what that means is that it's almost like a twisted spiral staircase. It's made of two strands linked together, and those nucleotides, which determines our code, are what link them together. So chemically speaking, alleles, which are versions of the gene, and genes and chromosomes are all made of DNA. So in other words, DNA is the entire genetic information. Chromosomes are when it's condensed DNA. A gene is a segment that codes for a protein. And then alleles are just versions of that gene. Now, each chromosome in your body contains linear DNA that is closely associated with histone proteins. So if you look up here, what you'll notice is that these proteins called histones. And what those things do is the DNA kind of wraps around those histones and then kind of folds upon itself. And it continues to fold and folds and folds till eventually we get a condensed chromosome. 
So DNA is genetic material made only of four different nucleotides arranged in that double helix. So in DNA, we have adenine always binds with thymine and cyanine always binds with guanine. The way I always think of this is the apple in the tree, the car in the garage to determine our nucleotide base. So A, T, C, or T, A, G, C, you see how this bonding pattern of nucleotides is always the same. Now, DNA contains chemical codes which guide life processes, written by using only these four letters of A's, T's, C's, and G's. So these four letters are arranged in different um, variations, and those different variations determine what an individual is going to look like, act like, think like, uh, and again, all stored in a molecule called DNA. Now, along the length of DNA, only some stretches are meaningful. So in other words, most of our DNA doesn't actually code for anything. But there are meaningful versions or meaningful pieces, and we call those genes. Again, we have several genes on a chromosome, and that segment of DNA called the gene is what allows us to have our traits to be expressed. So several, several genes are located on the same chromosome. So for example here, we can have a gene here, a gene here, a gene here, a gene here. There could be thousands of genes just simply on this one chromosome that code for a particular thing. Now, if we consider one gene, the sequence of genetic letters in one chromosome may slightly different, um, be a difference, different sequence from person to person. So again, these different sequences that occur on this genes, we call those alleles or versions of the gene. So the easiest way to kind of think about it, now remember, we get in a pair of homologous chromosomes, we get one chromosome from mom and one chromosome from dad. So one of the alleles in our genes comes from dad, the other one comes from mom. So again, this is what we're talking about as versions of the genes on these homologous chromosomes. So if you know if we if we want to think about it alleles could be a couple different combinations capital a capital a in terms of here we call that homozygous dominant capital a lowercase a that's heterozygous or lowercase a lowercase a homozygous recessive when we have a capital letter like we see right there the the dominant trait is always expressed the only way the recessive trait will be expressed if we have a homozygous recessive but these alleles are on each one of the homologous chromosomes and they code for a particular gene. So hopefully this information helps you out um, with the difference between DNA, chromosome, genes, and allele. Now if you remember, DNA is our entire genetic information, chromosomes are condensed versions of our DNA, and on those chromosomes we have particular genes that code for a protein. Now within that gene we can have different variations, which is what we call alleles. So hopefully this video helps you out. Uh, so again, this um, is on DNA, chromosomes, genes, and alleles. This is Mr. O'Brien signing off.